Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. In today's recipe, I'm going to show you how you can make a delicious ragada patties. You know, it's a very classic dish of Maharashtra, which has a ragada, which is cooked with uh, the white matana, which is a dried piece. Um, and, and then we toss it in a little bit of tamarind and subtle spices to bring out the delicious flavors. So without wasting any time, I'm going to take you through the steps of how to make a ragada and then show you how to make a nice, soft and crisp patties. So now into my preheated pan, I'm going to go ahead and melt my Nutrilite Classic um, which is great for cooking, subsies and a lot of other dishes. So I'm going to go ahead and add like a little bit of, melt a little bit of Classic into my pan and allow it to melt. You know this Classic spread is very versatile, it can be used in a lot of different types of cooking like in your palm bhaji to making subsies, parathas, even using it as a spread. And the good part is it's enriched with omega-3 and has 0% cholesterol. Great, so now I'm going to go ahead and add in my remaining ingredients into my pan, which is the mustard seeds and allow it to crackle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add the mustard seeds. We'll give it a stir and allow the mustard seeds to crackle. Wait, so once the mustard seeds are crackling, I'm gonna go ahead and add the ginger and the green chilies and the curry leaves. A little bit of hing, which is the asafoetida, and I'm going to saute this until you can start smelling the flavors coming through. But just for about um, less than 30 seconds, okay? And um, once you start smelling the flavors of asafoetida or the hing that is coming, okay, we'll go ahead and add in the ragada. So this is the mutter, which are, that is the white vatana or the mutter or the yellow piece which comes dried in the market. It's soaked for about a good eight hours and after that I uh, pressure cooked it with a little bit of salt and a little bit of turmeric powder until it was nice and soft for about good um, about seven to eight whistles, whistle, 30 minutes. Yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and add this. And to this, I'm going to add in all the remaining spices, which is the cinnamon powder, some turmeric powder, red chili powder, some jeera, which is cumin, and kala namak. And finally, just a pinch of salt, because I've already cooked the ragada with some salt, so you'll have to watch out. And the classic spread also has some salt, and then we added the kala namak as well. So just toss it together until all the masalas get well combined into the ragada, give it a taste. So now that I've all added all the spices and given it a good mix, I'm just going to go ahead and add the tamarind water and it gives a nice katta taste to the ragada. After I've added the tamarind, I'm going to go ahead and add in the jaggery. So it gives a nice katta meter taste to the um, to the ragada. Okay, so now I'm going to give it a brisk boil for about three to four minutes until it all gets really well combined. Give it a taste at this point to check after if it needs any more salt or any more other spices that if you want to add. And um, once it's done, just turn off the heat. And if you plan to like prep it ahead and keep it, um, then ensure that you add a little more water because as the ragada cools down, it tends to thicken and it becomes uh, hard to make like a ragada patty. So just ensure that you dilute a little bit. So once it cools down, it'll have a good consistency. So we'll allow it to simmer for three to four minutes and I'll turn off the heat. To make the patties into my mixing bowl, I'm going to go ahead and add my boiled potatoes. So what I did was to actually boil the potatoes, mash it up and then put it in the refrigerator for about a couple of hours so it becomes nice and firm. Okay, so because when you're making patties, you want your potatoes to be firm and then so it cooks nicely on the tawa. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add my corn flour. Corn flour is a good uh, binding agent which helps to hold the potatoes together. And I'm going to sprinkle some salt, some cumin powder, which is jeera powder, some chopped green chilies. I'm going to be adding like very minimal ingredients and some chopped mint leaves. And finally, I'm going to be adding in some achari mayo, which is going to be adding an achari, you know, flavor to our patties. Okay, so, and this mayo is packed with flavors from achar and it's a great uh, flavoring agent, which is fortified with vitamin A, D and E as well. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and add that and We'll mix all of this together until it becomes a nice firm dough uh, patty like mixture and hence the reason since we added the mayo it was important that you 
um, chill the potatoes and then refrigerate it so it's nice and firm. And we've added a little bit of corn flour as well for binding. We'll bring it together, shape them into patties and then pan fry them in just a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and melt my Nutrilite spread into the pan and then pan fry these patties with the spread. Let's go ahead and place these patties on the top and pan fry them on medium high heat until it gets uh, browned and crisp on both the sides. Okay, And since it's not deep fried, it's pan fried, uh, you'll have to sort of go keep changing the heat to ensure that it gets cooked through uh, right from inside and uh, gets a nice color on both the sides as well. To ensure that you keep flipping uh, and tossing uh, in between or if you wish you can add a little more of the spread to give it a nice crisp outer. So notice that the patties or the tikkis have nicely browned and it's nice and crisp on both the sides and I've turned off the heat and I'm ready to now plate the ragada patties. So these were really simple and I hope you enjoyed watching this recipe of how to make the ragada patties. The ragada has simple flavors from the achari mayo and the patties is made with katta mita with imli and jaggery and it's really simple and delicious that you can make for parties and if you noticed I actually uh, served it very differently in one of those, those leaf cups and put the ragada first and then the patties and then topped it with chutneys. This is a great way to serve for parties because then your, the, your guests can just scoop in the uh, patties along with the ragada and would taste really nice. So do give this recipe a try. When you do, don't forget to share your feedback in the comments below. As always, we'll be looking to hear back from you. Until then, until next time, happy cooking and healthy eating. Mm -hmm.